What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idol Heroes, and today we are on the Royalty Meme Team, so we have a few things to do, sadly we still have not had any luck to get any more copies of Cthulhu. <sighs> I wish we could because we're literally sitting on three 9 stars right here, we've got another 9 star in the bag as well from the last event, so... I wish I could like trade a carry copy, Olivia copy, something for a Cthulhu, but let's just hope we get some Cthulhu's in the future because uh, we are falling behind our uh, our guildmates pretty much. Moby's got that E5. I mean, even like even some other people here. Who who was the other one? Was it uh? Ooh, I see a lot of people are, are picking some Cthulhu's here actually. Badfish, what are you doing, man? What are you doing, Badfish? Smooth. Eh, no, he, he doesn't have a strong... Oh, here we go. Boz, there he is. I mean, he's got pretty much the same lineup as me. He's already got a 10-star food ready to go. Uh, Yeah, I mean, maybe we should start building some 10-stars up in the meantime. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, we could, you know, we could just make our queen a 10-star as soon as we have enough food to uh, to build another 6-star as well. So I don't think we have any 6-star dummies, right? No... No six-star dummies. Ah, wrong faction. If only it was Abyss. If only. We are working our way through uh, Celestial Island as well. So, we're actually... Ooh, maybe with some really good RNG right here? Oh, come on. Give me give me two progressions. Man, that would have been nice to do it live on right here. But, all right, all right. We'll, we'll have to wait. We'll have to wait. Oops, didn't even have my pet on right there. But we do have some good rewards coming our way. It's going to be another Fortress Puppet. I wish we could find an Abyss one, but we got a lot of Profit Orbs on the way. We got a ton of Metals as well, so we'll be able to upgrade. We'll be able to upgrade the team quite a bit here, but um, yeah, we're almost to level 100 as well. We do need to check our monster. I think we can power him up a little bit further. Actually, guys, today is the day. 120, there we go. We got those runes unlocked. Finally. Oh, yes. All right, so... I think what we're going to do is we're going to put 30 points into HP first, which should be close to doable. All right, so we got level 30. Let's let's throw some into attack as well. But, man, that's perfect. We're finally getting this Phoenix leveled up. Sweet. Sweet. Rune time, boys. We just gained we just gained so much HP. That That's such a crazy amount. Awesome absolutely awesome i'm happy i don't think there's anything on the wheel for us to spin today nope nothing there we do need to do these coins but we'll probably do them off screen although I'm, I'm tempted to wait i need to check what levels the uh the rewards on the wheel upgrade if it's like level 100 i might just save for like another month and do like a double completion next month for the much higher gold rewards on the wheel as well as far as interdimensional arena goes, we're we're pretty much just gonna chill where we're at. Yeah, I guess we gotta throw something in the other two lineups, huh? There you go, that looks good. Set lineup, done. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother with this because I don't wanna drop down. We just barely got up to uh what was it? So we mediator five, is that what we're at? So we'll get we'll get an okay, an okay border, but we'll just leave it at that. We're not gonna try to push any further. I'm happy with that. Need to do some brave trial today as well. But one of the big things we need to get done is going to be our Aspen Dungeon. Now, here's what I'm actually considering doing here. Let's first and foremost come into our bag here because we have tons of tons of these to take out. Let's do them one at a time. Nope, don't like that one. Ah, Nail Destiny, we don't really need it on this one. We have three of these. Three of these. So let's see what we got. Mage for light. Yeah, no, we don't want that one. That's not necessary. If only we get like a king of demons, that would be like crazy, crazy RNG. Man, we got pretty garbage. I mean, that one's all right. But again, we're not going to have a dark hero, I don't think, that needs it. All right, all right. I guess, I guess a little bit of a letdown. But with all of these things here, that just means we have, we have tons of resources to level up some of these artifacts. So let, mm, I don't remember who has what. Okay, so you do have the magic source. Let's go through, scrap out all these really low tier items here, and then we'll work our way to the higher ones, because that, mm, 
Not quite enough. We're going to have to throw these in instead. There we go. We'll slowly work out these old blue ones out of here. So let's do that. Do that. And honestly, I mean, we're not going to build a fortress hero. We're just, we're not going to do it. We, we want the fodder. We just need all the fodder we can get our hands on for these artifacts. We'll throw that in there. And then is a red one enough? Yep. There we go. Level six. There we go. So. Here's my thought. Should we put the magic source on Cthulhu for Aspen Dungeon? Because really his survivability doesn't come become the like the part we're stuck at. It comes down to his damage. Seems like his damage is where he's really struggling. So I'm even going to swap this over. Might be a mistake. Maybe he becomes too squishy, but... I'm tired of being stuck on the vessel waves every single time. So I think that's what we're going to do. Let's uh, let's throw our lineup in here. Doesn't really matter who the other heroes are. They're not going to do anything for us. And let's take a look and see what we have for things to buy. Oh, our gems are starting to hurt. We might have to we might have to do a little buy-in. A little buy-in here. We need we need all these things. Yes, yes. I will take all of those. Um I guess we'll take that too and then over here i think the only thing we're going to look for are coins are there any coin purchases nope so we're just going to call it and hold it right there so let's jump into it see if Cthulhu can be our man and just get us some get us some good progress with that extra skill damage he gets from magic source as well hoping we can just dodge some vests because we're we're kind of falling behind here we're sixth place now Really want to get to Nightmare 50. I really, really, really do. Ooh, a Gru wave too. Nah, easy enough. I don't think a Gru can out heal us like a Vesa can. Nope. Nope. So between the attack enable and the magic source. Oh, I meant to skip it. I meant to skip it. But hopefully it's enough that we uh we can get past those healer waves. Because as you see here, we already have tons of healing. I don't think it's going to become a problem. Berea could be a problem, though. Berea is one of those that is a really, really tough wave for Cthulhu. So hopefully we don't just get one shot here. Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> Berea. Berea and Sigmund are two of those that are just, just absolutely destroy us. Absolutely destroy our team. So... Sadly, once again, we get stopped really early, and I think that's where a lot of people are getting stuck on Nightmare right now. Are there these certain heroes that are just extremely strong like Berea? God, it makes me want to build a Berea army still. One of these days, guys, one of these days, we will finally build a Berea army. But for now, that's a no. We're going to hold off. We're going to wait. And let's uh, swap this back around as well. And let's jump into tower. Actually, you know what? First, let me see. Um, serious chest. Okay, we already bought the two chests we wanted. That's fine. I would be tempted to buy this one. Or no, not that one. This one just because of the uh, chaos stones. But we're already hurting on gems and I want to save up. Need to save up. We got to keep doing it. As far as this goes, we're almost done. I need to do Trial of Champions so we can finish that out. I still need to get two more six stars. We're good on fusion. Broken spaces, we're probably going to hold off until like the end of the month, like the last day, and then see if we can push further. Brave Trial, we finished the other day. Um, yeah, so we're going to put that on pause for now. What is our bag space? We got we got some bag space. What we can do is open some of these up as well. Maybe get lucky and get a five star. Doesn't look like it, but we got a dark four star. Oh man, this is like the first time in a long time we haven't got a five star. We've been actually very lucky. There we go. There we go, guys. I was going to say we actually get very, very lucky with our friendship summons on like all of our accounts we almost always we usually save up to like three to five hundred ish summons and then uh we just somehow manage to get a five star every single time no matter what account we are on just i guess streamer luck is that is that what we're gonna go with guys just streamer luck <laughs> there we go and we got a five star friendship summon already i know some people go 
years without getting that, but we got lucky. So the other thing I want to I want to do today is keep pushing in tower because we are way behind at this point, I think. Where are we anyway? What what are we on? 500? Actually, we're not too far behind. Yeah, there we are. We're in six. But we can easily get further. I'm pretty sure we're not going to have any trouble, especially now that we have the pet runes going, which also means we should be able to push sea land as well. So maybe we'll jump in there. Maybe we should do sea land before we do this. This one might be a longer episode, guys. I'm, I'm going to give you some, uh, some major royalty meme team action today, I think. Oof. Come on. Don't die, Cthulhu. Oh, no. Cthulhu died. Oh, my God. They just all keeled over from all of those dots. Cthulhu doesn't even need to be alive to be a boss, man. I mean, I just said boss, man, and we got a boss man in our guild. <laughs> wow, that was kind of crazy. I was not expecting that, honestly. Wow, those Gurks are putting in some work here. Come on, just keep burning. Keep burning. Man, every time those uh, carries attack, he's actually gaining health. Oof. All right, scaries. Let's watch Let's watch the slaughter of the scary army. The true six, six scaries in the scary army right here. Oh, so many counterattacks. So many counterattacks. And so many burns and bleeds. Good lord, they're not doing much damage. They're only just barely killing the carries now. This might take a while, though. This definitely might take a while. And I think the queen's actually helping limiting that crit chance. So, thankfully, that's a good thing. <laughs> we really need to start uh, killing some here. There we go. Without the counterattacks, things go a lot smoother. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hate it when we have both King Barton and Queen in this lineup. The amount of counterattacks is just going to be ridiculous. Imagine building like a counterattack team. Put like two King Bartons, two Honor Guards, and like two Grues in your lineup. That would be a little crazy, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right, Cthulhu, keep doing your thing. Keep doing your thing. Spread those burns and those bleeds and slowly pick off that team. And there we go. <laughs> I just love watching them just keel over. Ooh, five profit orbs. Gotta love the profit orbs when it comes to tower. Oh, yeah, we're not gonna win this one. I always forget anytime we fight Karen because he wants to go after the low health targets, you have to just put your Cthulhu in the lineup so that they attack Cthulhu every single time. Otherwise, you just don't have the damage to win out. And even here, ooh, that's a lot of damage. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of damage. This might be one that we get stuck at until we can uh, level up our Phoenix and level up our Cthulhu just a bit more. Because he is healing, which is good, but he starts taking a lot of damage because he gets that attack break as well. Hmm. I wonder if putting in like a Bell Rain for a little extra healing over a few rounds is going to help at all. So she dies there. But at the very least, she heals a little bit at the end of the round. Maybe it'll be enough just to... Mm, no, no, no. That's actually even worse, I feel like. <laughs> that feels like it's even worse, but let's give it one more try. Oh, she just goes down so fast. Oh, those crits. Those crits hurt so bad. Yeah, we're going to be stuck here for a bit. Is anybody else stuck here with us? Yeah. Yeah, a few people look like we're stuck at five. Actually, no, it looks like they got passing us stuck on the Gru wave. That's interesting. All right, not too bad. Let's wrap this up with some Abyss Sealand. So we have a much tankier team now. Definitely, definitely tankier. I'm wondering if we should level some of these guys up. Think that would be worthwhile? Could be. I mean, I feel like we're going to keep them around for some Sealand, especially Delacium. Why not? Let's bring Delacium up to level 100. It doesn't cost too many in resources. It does take some promotion stones, but we're, we're pretty good on promotion stones right now. So we don't have to worry about that either. Let's keep leveling this up right here. Get him up to 100. Put some gear on him, maybe. I mean, he is the prince of his race in the Abyss. So technically he's royalty. 
I'm going to count it. <laughs> I'm going to say yes and count it as a, as a valid option in the future with Delacium as well. So let's get him leveled up. Let's throw some gear on him. Just any old stuff will work. Yeah, that's fine. Just leave that on him. Should we level the Cruise up as well? Hmm. If we level up the Cruise, we have the uh, the chance to stun. So it'll help with Seal Land. Might as well. Might as well. Let's get him leveled up to 100 as well. Either that or we could probably stop him at 80. Because I think at 80, you unlock your last ability. I think. Eh, might as well go to 100. Might as well go to 100. No point. No point waiting. All right. Let's keep going. 40 levels to go. There goes 80. And one more evolve. Yeah, we'll just take him up to 100. Might as well. Put some split gear on him. Give him a little bit more health. Give him some uh, some of those two-piece gears as well. Do we have something that's like a tanky one? Not really. We got nothing that's tanky. Nothing at all. So we'll just leave that as is. Do we have anything on King Barton? No, we don't have anything on King Barton either. So we'll do that. One, two, three, four, five. We need a sixth hero. You know what? I think his basic one... Nah, you need here for his basic attack. Nah, we're not going to use scary. He hits every target. Not not a good look for us at all. So let's try to push a little bit in Seal Land. I think we have a chance now, though. All that looks good. Let's go. Come on. Hopefully with that upgraded pet, we have enough health now to survive. And hopefully Delacium lives so that he can actually uh, spread some more of those dots around. Dots, maybe some stuns, things like that. Ooh, they still hit very, very hard. That, that we, we need some more healing here. More healing, more healing. Don't crit, don't crit. Come on, come on, we can do this. One versus one, we got this. We, we got this, yeah, yeah, there we go. Now, if we can get level 10, that means we get one extra smash a day, which will be really good. And honestly, I might be tempted to start buying the three extra smashes once i get to to level 10. usually i say wait till he gets like 13 14 15 in that range doesn't look like we're quite strong enough here yet guys so we might have to put this on pause as well we got a bunch of random stuff done today <laughs> but nothing amazing oh we got stopped in tower and it looks like we're probably gonna get stopped in abyss sea land as well so Let's give it a few more tries, maybe get lucky. The problem is we're actually hitting the boss in the back and getting him an active on round one, which is turning out to not be good for us. Not be good at all. Okay, that, that was a much better one. So we got Delacium replicating those things as well. We got a bunch of stuns too, so that's good. Oh, but not enough, not enough. All right, we'll do one more. One more and we'll call it. Probably no point doing all 10 attempts. This should be a good attempt right here. Cruz got a stun off as well. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> yeah, we just don't have what it takes right now. So we'll have to keep planning ahead. We do have quite a bit of gear, though. So we could probably do some uh, crafting here. Get some better gear. We got skins, but I don't think Delacium's in here, right? Nah, the last one in here was Carrie. Doesn't look like it. So we'll wait on that. Still going to save up 28 more feathers. Hopefully the monthly will reset soon and we'll grab everything out and start doing more crafting since we have another nine star here. Yeah, we're going to have to keep on building these heroes, but I think what we will do if we can't get the Cthulhu copy just yet, we'll use at least one of those. We'll use one of those nine stars and make our queen leveled up because we can still make a 10 star out of ice blink so that means we need two three yeah we'll have enough so that technically if we get a kathuga copy we can make a thuga e3 and then we can make a 10 star queen which then means technically when we get another copy of kathuga i can feed that queen off at 10 star and it'll just line up perfectly so good progress so far we're still we're still working our way through the abyss sea land we're still a little weak 
a little weak. We're falling behind because we can't get the hero copies compared to everybody else. I mean, if you want to take a look at our arena, we went from being some of the top to now other people have E5 heroes. E5 Sherlock, I mean, it just gets really hard to compete when people have higher enabled heroes at this point. So we need those Kathuga copies, boys. We need to get them, and once we do, we'll finally get back to the top. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one, and I'll see you guys next time.